with more rain expected this weekend, Apple Creek Campground in the town of Wrightstown is not out of the woods. Fox 11's Laura Smith has our story. But yeah, and I'm just going to pull. When I can keep, I keep. When I can't, I can't. Joe Wenzel lives at Apple Creek Campground during the summer, but... I may be out of my coach for a good two weeks. Probably throw this out. Thursday morning, he got quite the surprise. When I got up to go to work at 5.30, water was up to my step. Kate Elliott dealt with a similar situation. It was in the trailer, and I had to swim out to grab my things. The water is gone now, but his summer home is filled with mud. It's a terrible feeling. I still owe money on it, but... I have insurance, so. Some people said they weren't satisfied with how the campground handled the situation and also expressed concerns about health hazards. Campground manager Pam Packey said the high floodwaters came as a surprise. In 2020 hindsight, I wish that we could have got to people a lot sooner, but you don't know how high the creek is going to keep on going. The creek has overflowed in the past, but it's been 20 years since it happened to this degree. Brown County Emergency Management Director Colin Peltier says that's why no one is to blame for the situation. It's just that now we have a history of what can occur in that area, and we need to monitor that a little more closely. Peltier says with more heavy rain in the forecast, officials will be watching and ready to take action. We can be a little more proactive this time and hopefully get some of those people out of there before you know there's a need to uh, get them out with uh, the boats and things like you saw occur on, on Thursday morning. Officials say the site is safe, but some don't have a choice but to leave. I have a feeling it's probably totaled. In the town of Wrightstown, Laura Smith, Fox 11 News. And while crews say they had to pull people to safety, officials say no one was seriously injured during this flooding.